Stella, you were here when this idea started and when it began the building process. So coming in here today and seeing everyone's reaction must be quite special. It is fantastic. I think Mike Stimson and his team have done a great job. This place has got a real wow factor. It's quality, it's a quality training facility and it's a quality community facility. As we can hear around us, there's lots of laughing, lots of children enjoying that. And I think that's really what Mike wants post-Olympics, that the community can come and get involved here. Yes, and I think one of the great things for us as a council about working with Mike has been that he's shown that he's interested as well as in the elite side and excellence and international competition in some of his focus sports. He is very interested in engaging young people. His real passion is about engaging young people in sport. And he's also, uh, with his colleagues, making sure that a significant proportion of the people who work here will be local people. And that's fantastic. And staying with the local theme, um, you've seen how the area has developed. What is this really going to mean to the area? Well, I think the bit that is as yet untapped is the, the impact that this facility will have on the local economy. We are trying to look at attracting more hotels into Barking and Dagenham so that we can make sure that those international visitors who will want to come here for their various sports will have somewhere good to stay. And over time, I think it will have a real impact both on retail and on the kind of supply chain businesses who will be supplying uh, services or products to this facility. So I think it will have a really great impact.